Walking is the most unique way to explore Paris. But for longer journeys, the Parisian subway, the metro, is the most effective mode of transport. You can find metro stations scattered all throughout the city. So you are never more than a 10-minute walk from a metro station. They are signaled by a sign that says, Metro or Metropolitan. The Paris Metro is one of the most extensive underground transportation systems in the world. So if you're visiting Paris for the first time or if you're not too familiar with this system, it can be a bit intimidating. Let's have a quick tour in order for you to figure it out better. Obviously, the first thing you will need to do is to buy a ticket. You will find vending machines in every stations where you can buy some. The vending machines are quite user-friendly. Choose your language, use the touch screen and follow the instructions. You can pay with coins, notes or credit cards. There are different types of tickets you can buy, but we recommend the ticket, T+. Ticket T+, can be used on metros, RER, tramways, buses and even the Montmartre funicular, should you decide to visit the Sacré Cœur. At the time of writing, it costs 1 euro and 90 cents and you have the option to buy a pack of 10, for 16 euros and 90 cents which is a slight discount. Also, tickets can be bought at kiosks where a receptionist can assist you. Give you free printed maps of the metro, or advise on how to get from one place to the other, but be aware that not all the stations have a kiosk available. One metro ticket is valid for two hours. You can make as many transfers as you need but as soon as you leave the metro system, you won't be able to get back in without paying for another ticket. You can also purchase tickets at tobacco shops or newsstands. If you plan on using this mode of transport often, you can purchase an unlimited travel pass for 1, 2, 3, and 5 days. But generally it makes more sense financially to purchase the pack of 10. Finding your way around in the metro can be quite intimidating at first, but if you follow these easy steps, you should be perfectly fine. Every line runs in two directions. The name of those directions are named after the final stop. For example, if you look at line 1, it has two ending stops. Chateau de Vincennes and Le Défense. So the train Chateau de Vincennes is heading in the direction Chateau de Vincennes and that the train Le Défense is heading in the direction of Le Défense. Easy. It's really easy to mix things up and go the wrong way. So if there is one thing you have to remember to make sure to get on the right train is to know the last stop. Be careful, because if you find yourself in the wrong direction, in most stations you won't be able to cross over for free. You will have to purchase a second ticket to change a platform unless you have a pass. So always make sure to check the names of the train displayed on the signs which are usually hanging from the ceiling. Most stations will have a large metro map at the entrance, and on the platform. Every line has its associated color so you should be able to follow them on the map pretty easily. This white dot tell you where you can make a connection to change to another line. Regular color dots are just stops along the way. So now, let's try to go to Pigalle the famous touristic place in Paris. We are at Franklin D. Roosevelt on Line 1, the yellow line. By the way the name of stations are plastered onto the walls. So we are here. And we need to go there, at Pigalle. We will need to make a connection at Concorde to catch the green line. Remember, the white dot shows the different connections we can make along the way. Stay tuned. We'll tell you shortly everything about the apps that can do all the work for you. So, let's check our train first to go to Concorde. The last stop is Chateau de Vincennes. This is our train. So let's jump on Chateau de Vincennes. Concorde. Now we need to catch line 12. The green line. Transferring between different lines is pretty simple. Follow the signs on the wall for the color, and the number of the line that you need to take. Aubervilliers. This is our train. Let's jump into the train to Pigalle. Easy. Be aware that some stations will have more than one exit which will be represented by a number. You can check the helpful map of the neighborhood, before going out of the station. They will show you where the different exits come out. You can save time by choosing the best exit. And by the way, Sortie means exit in French. The acronym RER is mentioned on maps and are sometimes displayed on sign of some stations. You may wonder what is the difference between the metro and the RER. To make it simple, 
The Metro is the intracity subway system for the city of Paris, and the RER is a rail line system that runs essentially to the suburbs, but makes stops within Paris. When you are not used to the system, the RER looks very similar to the Metro, but you can spot the difference immediately because Metro lines are identified by numbers, and RER lines, by letters. RER can take you to places such as the Versailles Palace, Disneyland, Charles de Gaulle Airport, and many other places in the suburbs. While the Metro is great for getting around the city, it also has lots of stairs with no elevators, long hallways and some stations can get very congested. If you have lots of luggage or a stroller, you might want to consider another form of transportation. Several good online tools can also help you navigate the public transit system. We recommend the free RATP mobile app, where you can find the time of the next train, find the best itineraries to your destination, and much more. You will find the link in the description below if you need more information. The metro is generally safe, but it does attract quite a few pickpockets, just like in any other city. Paris is no exception. The pickpockets generally get on trains that are already overcrowded, so they can take stuff out of bags or purses more easily. As long as you keep your bags closed and under your arm, you should be fine. If you have a backpack, make sure you can lock your zippers or wear it on your front. And make sure to keep your ticket until you leave the station. Staff members often check tickets and you might be fine if you can't prove you have a valid ticket. Also, some stations require you to pass your ticket through a turnstile to exit. Metro stations are sometimes personalized by architects and artists. Let's discover a few of those most unique stations you can find in the Parisian Metro. The Louvre Rivoli station, on line 1, has a scenography worthy of a museum, with the presence of several remarkable statues and the broadcasting of videos. Explanations are also available in case you want to know more. For many Parisians, the station, Paris Métier on Line 11, is one of the most beautiful metro stations in the whole network. Entirely covered with copper, the station also has a series of portholes that give the impression of being in a submarine. If you have learned something today, Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insider Parisian travel tips.